Hello, good afternoon, welcome to Talk with Tony. So this is so fun. Today, we're going to have a little bit different um, twist on these sessions. I have a guest with me today, and Donna Bloom, who is our staff attorney. Donna works as the director of our legal services department. And a lot of people don't even understand or have um, that knowledge about kind of the depth of services that Benton County Friends of the Family provides. So Donna, Talk to me a little bit. Tell us about some of the recent things people don't understand about we do social justice work. Right. right. So talk a little bit about your uh, visit to Austin just recently. Okay, great. So as a part of the work that uh, we do at Friends of the Family, we are always uh, monitoring what kind of systems improvements need to be made. So um, we may be working with a client, um, a survivor, that, and we come up against a barrier of some kind. Uh, we work with our legislators, our statewide legislators, and the Texas Council on Family Violence and the Texas Association Against Sexual Assault mm -hmm. to pursue those um, on a policy level. Um, so, and when you we, say policy for people, we're talking about policies that transition to laws. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's taking, it's finding the fix. So sometimes the fix is a law. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the fix is you have to take it to the legislature. Sometimes the fix is. Um, administrative or regulatory it's a rule fix mm -hmm. um, with the state government um, sometimes the fix is training uh, you know so right now um, we are working with TASA the Texas Association Against Sexual Assault on a bill that we helped propose through TASA based on one of our clients experiences so mm -hmm. we have a client several years ago who was brutally raped uh, by her husband in her home and he was prosecuted for that and, can, and pled guilty and spent some time in prison. Sure. Um, and they had two girls, they had two children together. And she wanted to uh, terminate his parental rights, understandably. She mm -hmm. didn't want to co-parent with her rapist. Right. And what we found in the law is in the Texas Family Code, there's, there, was, there are very few uh, ways in which to accomplish that. And the ways that she might have been able to accomplish it she was, uh, they were not available to her. Um, his length of sentence wasn't long enough or the children weren't present for the violence. And so uh, we just thought that was wrong. Uh, myself and Jared Julian uh, with uh, Julian Crowder and Schuster, a firm here in Denton County who worked with our client, uh, we both just believed along with the client that that was wrong. Uh, I served on their public policy committee. They then took it to their membership and said, we want this to be a part of our public policy agenda. We want to amend the statutory provisions to terminate parental rights based on the sexual assault of the other parent. Um, they took it to their membership. The membership agreed and said, yes, we want this to be a part of our legislative agenda. And then Tossa and myself and Jared Julian took it to Senator Jane Nelson, who we are so lucky right. to have as our state senator sure. uh, because she is a champion, has been a champion. For, for a long time. For many, many, many years. years. Definitely a champion for victims' rights yes. in our community. She has always cared about sexual assault and domestic violence and child, so, abuse. child abuse issues. Mm -hmm. So we took that issue to her and she agreed um, with, she read our client's story, she understood what we were talking about and said, absolutely, um, I'm gonna file this bill. So she filed it, it's Senate Bill 77. Um, it just got a hearing in the Senate State Affairs Committee of which Senator Nelson serves. Um, I was invited down by Senator Nelson's office to testify on the mm -hmm. bill, why it was needed. Um, and it was so great. I think the best part of it was hearing Senator Nelson to her colleagues um, and on that committee uh, say that no uh, victim of sexual assault should have to co-parent with her. Uh, rapist mm -hmm. and that was it's just exciting it seems like a no-brainer mm -hmm. um, but you know I mean there you know there are there are lots of opinions about issues out there sure, and absolutely. so to have someone of as, her stature of her stature yes. and to speak out and have a voice and just speak that truth you mm -hmm. know is so valuable the client uh, got to watch it mm -hmm. um, it was a live stream and she texted me mm -hmm. after it was over and she just said like it was such a relief like she was tearful she knew that it wouldn't help her. Mm -hmm. Her thing is over, mm -hmm. right? Um, as I said in my testimony, she um, was fortunate to have Jared Julian representing her. Uh, they were able to do the very best they could do with the laws that we currently have. So he has no access to his children. Um, she's safe and her kids are safe, but he maintains this, this uh, thread of a legal relationship, sure. which means that you know, he can bring her back mm -hmm. to court when he wants to, if right. he chooses to, which means that 
it's always in her rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. There's, it's always, she's always having to keep an eye out, at least legally. Sure. Um, and so she, she was relieved and just, um, it's healing for a survivor to be a part of social change. Mm -hmm. Like they may not have had the result they wanted, but to be a part of saying, this wasn't right, this is what it felt like, and this needs to change for the next victim, uh, is really what Friends of the Family is all about. We are all about um, helping survivors find freedom. Um, we are all about uh, victims and their children being able to live without violence. And then we're also about taking it from the micro to the macro, because we want a, we want a solution um, for the next survivor, um, something that has a, a much broader impact Absolutely. than this one solution. So I think it's important for people to know I mean, we are invested in what we do certainly is uh, we provide that individual solution and access to services, but we're always, and this is not the first time that Donna has led um, our organization through looking at state legislature um, opportunities, <clears throat> but we are always looking at how do we take this situation and we look at how can we apply it system-wide to make a better solution for all survivors. Because for us, it's not just about those survivors and victims here in Denton County. We want to look at opportunities that we can be an impact across our state. Because we know that while we can think about one client in this situation that we took the case and went forward on, mm -hmm. it's really about that unfortunately represents tens of thousands of women across our country. Um, and so this was one woman's story, and this is how we chose to use her voice in order to make a greater impact for victims across the state. So we are definitely that organization in the community. We're so glad to have Donna on staff because she leads us through this policy. And while she puts it very succinctly, it's a very complicated <laughs> and labor-intensive process. But we're certainly proud to be able to serve our community in that way. So <laughs> the other thing we're doing in pretty soon here is we're going to have Friends of the Badge. Law enforcement community, the judicial system is certainly a huge partner for us and we're going to have a law enforcement appreciation luncheon um, that's April 28th and we will have Dale Hansen has agreed to come on and be our speaker and we don't know, you know, Dale sometimes is unplugged, right? So we're <laughs> going to have Dale here. We hope that it's a wonderful treat and opportunity for us to acknowledge and reward those uh, law enforcement agents in our community who are doing great work. Um, and so if you are interested in sponsoring this event with us, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out. The information will be at the bottom um, under this video, but Kim Shields is the contact person for it. I thank you for tuning in for Talks with Tony today. And um, if you have ideas about things you'd like to hear about from friends of the family, please send us a message on Facebook, uh, send us a tweet, call us, send an email, to Kim Shields, K Shields at DCFOF.org. Let us know things that you would like to hear us talk about as well, and we'd be happy to do that. Thanks well, a lot. Well, remember about our public policy issues. If you know of an issue that's impacting victims of domestic violence and sexual assault, and you think it needs to change, you know, communicate that to us as well. I mean, we can always bring those issues to, to on a statewide level. Absolutely. We look forward to the conversation, and more than anything, we thank you for your investment and your belief in the work that we do here at Denton County Friends and Family. Hope you all have a great and wonderful safe weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Mm -hmm.